the Hardcore Iron Man, one of the most exciting, sweat-inducing, and cheek-clenching game modes to me since I started playing Old School RuneScape. You play the game all on your own, and you only have one life to progress as far as possible. To be a successful Hardcore Iron Man requires key attributes. Knowledge and experience with dangerous content to live on a knife's edge without toppling over. Understanding of risk and knowing what can get you killed. Awareness to recognize a potentially deadly situation with a quick trigger finger to escape death. Presence of mind to avoid unnecessary dangers. And luck to prevent dying to unexpected disconnections. These are all basics for survival as a hardcore Iron Man. This is the story of how I, Bayless Mango, became a master of RuneScape's most challenging content to earn the right to attempt the riskiest game mode and create a legendary Hardcore Iron Man. <laughs> Damn. Woo! Ah, this is the best! Damn. Bayless Mango. Huh? Who are you? I have an offer you can't refuse. Eh, not interested. Let me rephrase. You can't refuse. Ugh, where am I? Bayless, I apologize for the aggression to bring you here but you are needed for an important task. Your boys could have started with that instead of bludgeoning me over the head. I've done all sorts of quests before. Yes, well, patience doesn't suit them. Bayless, you have been brought here by my request. As you may know, across Gilinor there are powerful monsters who hold valuable treasures unique only to themselves. You have been selected to hunt down these monsters. Well, why was I selected? Surely there are more qualified people than me. I don't even have the best equipment, nor am I close to the strongest. Bayless, I have been monitoring your activities from afar and I know your intentions and motivations, your goals and aspirations in this world. They align well with my own. Though you are not the strongest, you can become stronger and grow to your full potential with my assistance. Is it steroids? I'm really not interested in that sort of thing. No, no. Listen. You will be assigned a monster to defeat and a unique item to obtain from it. Sometimes you will be assigned multiple items or multiple monsters. Additionally, while defeating these monsters, I will task you with a list of challenges you must complete. If you complete all my challenges, not only will you gain strength, but I will allow you to keep the treasures you gain for the challenges to come. What makes you think I'd agree to all this? Sounds like a whole lot of gain for you and not much for me. A fair point. I do have a proposal for you, however. I will fulfill your greatest desire, but in your current state you are far too weak to accept it. What do you mean, too weak? And what is it that you think I desire exactly? I'll explain it simply. Let's think of power in a tier system, where an S grade is the highest and F is the lowest. Right now, you sit at roughly a C- rank, meaning you are average at best. To accept my gift, you must rank at least an A+, something that is attainable by those who understand how to defeat the most challenging enemies with ease. As for your greatest desire, you're not a man of greed nor lust. You do not desire fame and fortune. What you desire is pride and achievement. You wish to rise in the rankings for a sense of accomplishment and recognition as a hardcore Iron Man. Do or die, all on your own. You have one life to become a top-ranked individual by honing your skills and amassing kill upon kill at all of the biggest monsters this world holds. Huh. Seems like you know me pretty well. So I do your challenges, grab some loot, and bring it back to you. Then I get a shot at creating a legendary hardcore Iron Man? Yes, those are the terms of my proposal. This path will not be easy, but you were selected for a reason and I know you are suited for the job. Will you accept Bayless Mango? Uh, sure. I'll do it. Sounds like a good deal. Excellent. Let's discuss your first assignment, the Corrupted Gauntlet. The gauntlet itself was created as a training ground by an elven clan to ensure their warriors were capable of defending the elven city during the God Wars. The gauntlet is a dungeon with a randomly generated, unique layout differing with every entrance. You are given a limited amount of time to gather resources, defeat small and medium monsters, and prepare to defeat the main boss, the Corrupted Hunliff. Upon successful completion, you are rewarded with a variety of loot, including valuable crystalline weapons and armor. Interesting. The gauntlet. Funny. I've actually already got all those items from the gauntlet. So why would you send me there? This is true, but though you have two enhanced crystal weapon seeds, only the bow has been corrupted. You must possess the sword as well. In addition, you must complete my challenges to keep your hard-earned loot. 
Obtain the crystal shards to corrupt the blade of Saildor. Complete 10 successful tier 3 armor preparations in a row. Complete the corrupted gauntlet 20 times in a row without the use of rigor or augury. Complete 10 kills without any game sounds. And lastly, complete 5 perfect Hunleth kills in a row. An interesting set of tasks. I'm not sure how challenging they'll be, but I'll do my best. Do not return to me without the loot and without completing my challenges. Oh, and one more thing. You have one week. Uh, well, guess, I guess we're doing this. Welcome to the Corrupted Gauntlet, where I will be until I complete all of my challenges as soon as possible. To start, I have 184 crystal shards in the bank and need 1000 to corrupt the Blade of Saildor, which will be a good melee weapon for my future combat endeavors. While progressing to the 1000 shard goal, my first objective is to master the tier 3 armor prep. Why is this tier 3 armor prep so important in the Corrupted Gauntlet? As a hardcore Iron Man, tier 3 armor is going to dramatically reduce the damage you take over the course of the fight with the Hun lift. Additionally, it's it's going to give you higher attack power. Tier 3 armor is a massive upgrade over tiers 1 and 2, essentially guaranteeing your survival given that you're proficient at the boss. First run, I pretty much got everything I needed, but I'm just short on time, so I'm probably just going to leave and reset. This run's looking pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm going to have enough time. I still need to make a lot of stuff and cook this fish, so we'll see. Yeah, no, it was a good run. I definitely just, uh, two in a row I had to leave, which kind of sucks, but we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. Hey, we did get a tier 3 prep. Man, tier 3 armor is just so good. And the loot nothing. I'm gonna put the combat achievement repeat completion on. That will track my perfect Hunlift kills just to verify that I've been doing them perfectly. Another successful tier 3 prep. Unfortunately, it will not be a perfect kill. I took a hit off prayer. But as long as we finish this, that's two tier 3 preps in a row, which is honestly huge for me. And there you can see Corrupted Warrior awarded for a second time. Corrupted Warrior kill with a full set of perfect Corrupted Armor equipped. So that will verify that I did in fact do a successful tier 3 prep and the perfect Corrupted Hunlift achievement when that goes off will verify that I did a perfect kill. We're looking for 5 perfect kills in a row and 10 Corrupted Warriors in a row. There we are. So we got 3 two, one Mage but not perfect Hunt Lift. 3 tier 3 preps in a row and we get some nice Alcables. Let's go. Great tier 3 prep with 30 seconds left as well. Very good. I even have time to wait to make sure Hunt Lift gets into a decent position and this should be a free kill honestly. Once again we are a Corrupted Warrior. And the loot Oh, nothing. Very nice tier 3 prep. You can see prep time 651. I had a ton of time left. Sixth tier 3 prep in a row. A really clean kill. I got 3 two, one mage, but I didn't get perfect ton lift because I took one tornado, unfortunately. There it is, tier 3 prep number 8. Hey, we got 9 out of 10. I am really having trouble with the perfect ton lift, though. I'd usually just take, like, one tornado hit or something. It's, it's kind of hard. 10 kills in a row with tier 3 armor completed. That is the first of those dumb challenges done. I feel very good about tier 3 preps now. Going into t today, which is still the first day, I had only done like one tier 3 prep and they're pretty challenging, but now I feel very consistent with it. So I guess the, I guess it's not all bad whatever these challenge things are. Now that I have kind of mastered the tier 3 prep, my main focus for the next challenge is going to be going for the 5 perfect kill streak. It's been pretty challenging. I've only had one perfect kill so far, which is my first one. After I finish 5 perfect kills, I'm going to go ahead and go for that 20 kills straight without rigor or augury. Here come the tornadoes. Also, I gotta stay off the yellow flooring because the floor is lava. Keep running, keep running. Okay, this is fine. And this is not fine. We gotta get off this floor as soon as possible. Okay, keep moving. Gotta get hits in when possible. Get the prayers up, keep going. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I got a perfect kill with tier 3 armor, and I don't think I ate a single food that whole kill, and my reward is a thousand mithril arrows. Thank you, game. That is going to be the end of my first day of this challenge. I died zero times and did 15 completions, so the score is 15 to me, zero to the Hunliff. And if we look at everything from the 15 kills and loot, 
I made about 2.1 mil plus the 104 crystal shards, so not a bad day at all. Go count 247. After doing like 15 successful tier 3 preps, I'm kind of feeling like I'm just going to start going more for speed and less about like the safety of the tier 3 armor. So I might start doing tier 1 or tier 2 preps on average. It's taking me about 11 minutes and I'd like to have it closer to 10 or below. As you can see, you did a tier 1 prep. Went really fast. Honestly hoping to get under a 730 if I can secure this kill. But I'm definitely not used to taking this much damage. Ooh. Nice. Okay, a successful kill, definitely not my fastest, but 806 is not bad, so I'm happy with that. I freaking died. First death, this score is 18 to 1 now. My times just honestly aren't that much better with a tier 1 or tier 2 prep. I think it's just more worth it to do tier 3 at this point. Not a single piece of food was ingested. That restarts the perfect kill streak, 1 of 5. So this 5 perfect Hunlift thing in a row is kind of hard. I just got tickled by a tornado. Just the slightest bit, which failed perfect hunlift for me right at the end too. Day two, I am ending with a kill to death ratio of 25 kills, one singular death. One food hunlift. Holy, I'm so good. I can't get these stupid perfect kills though. Day four, and I've decided that I'm going to be saving the five perfect kills for the very end of the challenges. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to do 20 CG runs in a row without using rigor or augury. As you can see, I have them disabled in my prayer book, so they will not work. Let's get to it. All right, here goes nothing. First attempt without rigor or augury. Come on, finish the kill. Okay. Even taking that massive hit because I couldn't click my prayer, I still managed to get the kill. So I don't think this challenge will be too, too hard. Well, apparently, I can just straight up make my rigor and augury disappear. And if I try to click, they're just not there anymore. Two out of 20. The loot? Nothing. Okay. So when I get to 285 kill count, that will be the end of my having to use mystic might and eagle eye but this is pretty easy this isn't really a challenge but it's good experience to know that how it feels to not have rigor and augury i guess oh crystal weapon seed all right crystal weapon and armor seeds can be exchanged for crystal shards unfortunately weapon seeds are only worth 10 whereas armor seeds are worth 250. weapon seeds can be exchanged for crystal acorns which yield about 15 shards on average but it's still nowhere near the 250 from an armor seed perfect kill with mystic might and eagle eye and the loot is a bunch of alcohols i'll take it 276 Eh. Kill count 279 and a perfect kill at that. Oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, where's my prayer? Oh dear. Oh god, the floor switched. I gotta run under. Oh. Okay. That was the most scuffed perfect kill I've done in my entire life. But that's two in a row and a bunch of nothing. Come on, Bo, don't fail me. There it is, man. Three perfect kills in a row, no way. Oh, I wanna get it done so bad. And another weapon seed. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, okay, all right, we're good. Oh, that was close, oh my God. Oh no, did I just hit on accident? Oh no, did I fail the perfect? Cause I hit on the wrong prayer. Oh, please tell me I didn't fail. Oh, perfect Hunlift. Yes, number four. Okay, nice, nice. I swear if I don't get this fifth one in a row, I might quit the game. Hopefully 283 is the one. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. No. Oh my God. God, dude, that f floor combination was cursed. Oh, oh, what do I get? I hate this game. And the perfect kill that I was looking for last time, of course. 
And that's my 20th kill in a row without using rigor and augury. Nice. At this point, I was improving at perfect kills, but not consistent enough to do five in a row. So I decided to do 10 kills without game sounds, leaving the five perfect kill streak as the final challenge. Just to show my sounds are still off. Honestly, this is not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. This is pretty easy as long as I just keep looking at the Hunlift while he's doing stuff. Volume is still off. And that is the kill without sound, which really wasn't that hard, honestly. Kill number one done, and the loot, another crystal weapon seed. Holy shit, that is my third one today. Like if I had two armors, I'd be done with the shards by now. Two kills zero game sounds perfect kill wow without sound that's crazy honestly and again i will show that i do not have sounds on another perfect kill number seven of ten another crystal weapon seed this is the fourth one i've gotten today How can i even really complain i did like 20 seven cg today and i got four crystal weapon seeds which are all one in 50 shard count at a nice 677 to start the day we are getting very close to this a thousand shard goal which makes it extra important that we do five perfect kills in a row so that we don't have to stay too much longer than we really need to <gasps> I took all four tornadoes at once. <laughs> uh, okay, well, another kill, no game sounds, I guess. Two ninety four. One more soundless kill to go. All right, two food. This is doable. I'm getting this kill, whether I like it or not. Yes. Yes, I'm free. No sound. 10 kills. I haven't died in so many kills. I've only died like three times in 65 completions, so that's pretty good. This challenge training thing is actually making me better at this activity specifically. All right, let's get our five perfect kills, finish our salad blade, and get the hell out of this prison. Oh, there we go. One out of five. Four more perfect kills to go. No! Oh, uh, the, oh god, oh no. Okay, so I have about 13 health to work with. I have no food, and if I drop towards eight, then I can get one shot by any attack, so I'm gonna have to be really lucky here, honestly. Oh, okay, 10. Uh, this is not good. Okay, I'm gonna need- I need to get out. I don't even know how I'm still alive, honestly. This is- this was so bad. With less than two days left, I was uncertain I would complete the remaining challenges. I had about 250 crystal shards to obtain, and I was struggling to complete five perfect hunlet kills in a row. And then when I least expected it, a twist of fate occurred. Ah, oh, five in a row is too hard. Oh my god, there it is too. Oh, the shards are done, man. The shards are done. I have to keep going. I have to finish five perfect kills. Oh, that's it. Oh my god, he hits hard. I'm getting melted. Oh my god. Please, no. Oh, I mm, kind of lost the perfect kill for no reason, so I'm kind of upset about that, but at least I get out alive. New PB 734? That's actually really good. I wish I got the perfect kill though. With the clock ticking, the final day was upon me. I was mere hours from failing my first assignment and had no choice but to level up in my final moments. Perfect number one of five. This is the this is the kill streak. I gotta get out of this place. No! No, please, game. Oh. Okay. Number one. Okay. Two out of five. End it. Oh, 10 HP. Please. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Number three. Number three. Yes, number three. Oh, two more.
Please, weapons. Please help me finish the kill. Oh, it's so close. Oh, yes. Okay, four out of five. Four out of five. We are on the cusp of completing this challenge. This is it. This has to be the one it all comes down to this. Do or die, this is my final chance at five perfect kills in a row. Oh. Okay, I lived through the tornadoes. <laughs> I didn't take any damage. This sh this can be the one. This can be the one. The bow's hitting. Oh, come on. Oh my god, another set of tornadoes. Oh no. Please. Come on. Yes. Oh, please. Five in a row. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, that task was so, oh my god, I'd pretty much been working on that task the entire time. Five perfect kills in a row. I'm done. I'm freed from the red prison. Okay, what's the KD? 84 total completions to four deaths. Not bad. A couple mistakes, but we finished all these dumb challenges, so it's finally time. I can go and make my Blade of Sailor with 867 crystal shards in hand and this crystal armor seed i will have the 1000 shards needed to make the corrupted blade of sailor with 1117 shards and this enhanced crystal weapon seed i now have the blade of sailor and now with the blade of sailor and the extra 1000 shards i have it's gonna be corrupted very nice. Oh, baby, we've done it. Finally have the salad blade and our full crystal armor set. I think I'm going to leave the blade red. I actually really like how the red blade looks. Oh, we're done with CG, baby. Huh? What's happening? Oh, it's just you. I finished your challenges and brought back the blade. Rats, Bayless. I commend you for completing a difficult set of challenges, and you've gotten stronger already after just completing your first assignment. In fact, your rank has increased from a C- to a solid C. Uh, cool, I guess. So, are you gonna give me something actually challenging, or what? Quite eager you are. Your next assignment will be nothing like your last. Here's a hint. Your mastery in combat will be tested all across the world. 